21 of the 23 first astronauts are firstborn. They're either the eldest, the only child in the family. Most Eagle Scouts are firstborn, either the eldest or the only child in the family. Most Nobel Prize winners are firstborn. Most CEOs, two thirds of them to be specific, are firstborn. Most of the female world leaders are firstborn. An 1874 study in England showed that firstborns are overrepresented among fellows of the Royal Society, their distinguished scientific and academic community. Even psychologists studying other psychologists found the same thing. More than 50% of the presidents of the American Psychological Association have been firstborn. Now, when I lay those statistics out, I generally get three different kinds of reactions. The first reaction is that of firstborns. Uh-huh. Uh, this naturally confirms all my biases about the innate superiority of firstborns. Uh, the second group of reactions is those who, uh, people who can think of exceptions. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, that may be true, Tim, but I, I got a, a, a brother-in-law who, who's a bum. The guy's a bum. And, and he's a firstborn. Uh, that's one category of exception that shows up. The third grouping, I, and, and I know there's some of you in the room, are those people who are later borns who are saying, and they're usually the most vocal, at least internally in their mind, who are saying, oh, yeah, that, Tom, I don't know about that because I've done pretty well for myself and I'm a later born. Uh, well, it turns out you're in pretty good company because uh, Jay Leno, uh, Madame Curie, uh, Margaret Thatcher, are all later borns. They're all part of your group. As Celine Dion, she may be number one on the chart. She's 14th out of 14 in terms of the uh, birth order. But we still have to ask ourselves the question, why is it? Why is it? When you look at study after study after study after study after study, as a rule, firstborns tend to outperform later borns. Well, why does that occur? It turns out that parents are unconsciously brilliant in raising their firstborns. There are three ways. There are three ways in which parents treat the firstborn differently than the later born. And it is these three factors that make up the performance difference. Being firstborn does not matter. Much to my personal dismay, much to the delight of my siblings, what matters is the presence of the three factors. And if you can get your arms around these three factors, you can not only boost your own achievement level, but more importantly, for the subject we're looking at this morning, you can boost the performance of everybody back in your firm. First of all, parents tend to have higher expectations for the firstborn. They're the ones that are gonna be president of the senior class. They're gonna be captain of the cheerleading squad. Uh, whatever directions the expectations lie, they tend to be just a little bit higher for the firstborn. The second is that they get more responsibility. They're held more accountable, particularly at an earlier age. I've got three kids, and uh, Marie is the firstborn. I say, what are you going to do tonight, Marie? Well, we're going to the movies, Dad. Who gets the money to let all three in? Marie. Uh, who, ha who has a cell phone to call home? Marie, when the movie's over. Uh, Marie, where are you going to sit? We're going to sit in the balcony, Dad. I want you to make sure your brother and your sister don't throw popcorn down to people on the first floor. You know, it's up to you, Marie. They get more responsibility, particularly at an earlier age. The third thing is that they get more feedback. Question, how many of you have two or more kids? Okay, look at that, I see a lot of people. Here's the question, which one did you take the most pictures of? <laughs> And not always, but as a general rule, it tends to be that firstborn. Now, if you look at those three factors, they are, not, they are not in the genetic makeup. They are not in the blood chemistry. They are external to the individual. And as I look at those things, expectations, accountability, and feedback, I said, you know, they, they are external to the individual. I wonder what would happen if I picked those up and put them down in another location. So I went to a company and said, look, here's what I found. I found these three factors. I would like to try something. I would like to train your sales managers how to use those three factors. I said, oh, well, give it a shot. So we did. 